Hello there, and good afternoon. SCP games, they exist, and they exist in numbers. But what if you wanted to take as many SCP games as you could possibly find and put them on a tier list to find out which of these... <clears throat> ah, ah, ah. Games are truly the best. We will start out at D tier and work our way up to S tier, where the true classics will reside. Without further delay, let's begin. We will start ourselves off with SCP Escape Together. Sure, this game has a small team behind it, and yeah, it can be fun at times, but this game just sucks. You and a group of friends have been placed inside a container breach and must do your very best in order to escape. All the rules from SCP Container Breach apply here, but they have made a uh, slight changes to make the game a more cooperative experience. Open, open. You spawned a 9-6! No, no, no. Oh, 173! I'm dead! <laughs> DUDE, EVERY SCP- <laughs> This game plays a lot like SCP Container Breach, but you are helping out your 8 brain friends to all reach a common goal of escaping. There are a lot of bugs, some are pretty game changing, and some are extremely annoying. I, ah, I can't get through man! We're getting- we, we, Okay, 173 has body blocked us in spawn, we can't leave at all. D tier. This game sucks. Moving on to the next game is SCP Abhorrent. You play as an agent assigned to take out and eliminate a SCP-363 instance where upon seeing almost instantly kills you and wipes out your entire squad leaving you completely alone in the dark. Summarized, you walk around for 10 minutes waiting to be instant killed only to respawn and then get instant killed once again. Okay. Uh, wh uh, what did this spawn me into? Ah! 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 Great game. The only redeeming thing about this game is the flamethrower. If your game is bad, when in doubt, give the player a flamethrower. Not much to say about this game considering I played it for about 20 minutes and it's not really good. Simply put, SCP Abhorrent is the video game of all time. D tier. It, it, it exists. Yeah. Next up on the list is SCP Isolation. From what I remember from this game, as I played it like 7 months ago, it was nothing but walking around darkness for the longest time until you finally come across something. It has horrifically loud audio. This obnoxious head bobbing, which I, I don't even know why they programmed this into the game. And this one statue guy who kind of just follows you. I don't know why, but he just follows you. I didn't bring myself to finish this game as it devolved into walking around in darkness for 20 minutes, not having a single idea on where to go next. It's more exploration and less obnoxious than Escape Together, but still not very good. D tier. <laughs> Moving on to C tier, we have SCP-3008. You play as a lost, lone customer inside SCP-3008, the infinite IKEA, and try your absolute hardest to survive as long as you can. There's crafting, building, weapon making, and a day and night cycle. At 10 p.m., the store closes, and you have to survive against these little fucks. Just, 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 just fucking, just fucking go away. Just go away. This game is fairly good, but gets extremely boring and repetitive after the first night. The only way to get blueprints is to run around and find them just lying on the floor. You can craft lights, fire axes, crowbars, etc. There's also a hunger meter that you must constantly be looking out for, and can sometimes be just a major nuisance. Food is pretty hard to find, and it wastes valuable time. Lastly, there is a leveling system to the game where you get XP by killing the monsters and surviving nights. But, like I said, it gets pretty boring and doesn't have a lot to add after surviving the first day. But also, not bad. C tier. <coughs> Next up, we have SCP Blackout. You play as a D-Class who finds themselves in a containment breach and must escape. 
Where have I heard this one before? It's not a bad game, but it's also not that good. The SCPs are really annoying, and the layout is worse than containment breaches. It also gets pretty boring after looking around the facility for a while. If there was more happening within the game, or better things for the player to do, it would most likely be a lot better. But in the current state, it kind of sucks. Although you can see the developer really cared about the game, and at least try to put some polish into it. So overall, it does very well in gameplay. C tier. For the last on the list for C tier, we have SCP-022. I covered this game in a review video a few months back, and I still have high praise for this game. You play as a reincarnated SCP-022 instance in a morgue where you must escape. You are tasked to do a couple of puzzles in order to escape. And overall, it is a pretty good SCP puzzle game. I went into more analysis on the game in the other video, so check that out if you have some time to kill. The game's ambience is fairly decent, and the puzzles require some moderate amount of brain activation for the player to succeed. Although this game truly shows how dysfunctional I am as a human being. I fucking knew it. Yes, dude! No, 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 don't enter, no! Oh, you fuck. You fuck. Oh, you fuck. Essentially, if you have 20 to 30 minutes to kill, I would highly recommend playing this game. Even if you have the time. C tier. Get Wi-Fi anywhere you go! We are moving on to B tier, where the games move from mediocre to really freaking good. Starting off our B tier list, we have SCP Secret Files. I covered this game on stream, played it off stream several times, and truly, it is a very good SCP game. You play as a man named Carl who is convinced to work for the SCP Foundation, covering several SCP instances and stories and assigned to organize them in different categories. A lot of it is lore dumping and story based, but man, this game can get very, very action packed at times. Secret Files is incredibly faithful to the source material it showcases, but this whole dragon story could just fuck off for all I care. The story is interesting, gameplay is amazing, horror is genuinely terrifying, and the graphics are surprisingly very good for an SCP game. There is apparently an 0 for 9 DLC on the way soon, which I'm pretty excited about. Overall, a tremendously well made game and an incredible amazing start for our B tier category. B tier. Very good. SCP Secret Laboratory. You know the game. You know the community. And I think I know the game. And the community as well. SCP Secret Laboratory is a game where at the start, everyone takes the role of a D-Class, Scientist, Facility Guard, or an SCP. Later in the game, you can become a Chaos Insurgent or Nine-Tailed Fox. As a D-Class and Scientist, you must try your best to avoid the SCPs and other enemy factions and escape. As Facility Guard, you need to kill all the D-Class you can possibly find. As SCPs, you have one simple task. Kill. The game's community is either unfunny as shit, or downright hilarious. Some servers are atrocious, while others are amazing. This game is... It's pretty hit or miss. But most of the time, it's great. Guns are cool as shit, SCPs can be genuinely scary at times, players are occasionally funny. So overall, great game. B tier. Next up, we have SCP Nine Tailed Fox, a game where you take your anger out on the D class and run away from SCPs. You know, like a Giga Chad. You are an MTF assigned to taking back control in the facility. You make it to these elevators, and you and your whole team are taken by 106. You become the only survivor and work your way towards escaping the facility. You can defend yourself, you can run from SCPs. It's basically SCP Container Breach, but from the perspective of a, of a Nine Tailed Fox. The game is pretty enjoyable, and I like the new mechanics added. But on my playthrough, I had quite literally no idea where I was going, so I walked around heavy containment for an entire hour, having zero idea on where to go. So I kind of just gave up. But if you like killing D-Class as a nine-tailed fox in the SCP Container Breach engine, then you will really, really love this game. B tier. SCP Container Breach Multiplayer. You take the role of a D-Class, Scientist, SCP, Chaos, or MTF. It's basically if you took SPSL and put it completely into the Container Breach engine. I ranked this up higher on the list because of these hilarious Giga Chad SCPs not killing me and letting me listen to their music. Great people. Not much to go into here, as it kind of is just exactly like SPSL. But honestly, if you need a refresher from the game, then you can kind of just move over to this game for a little bit with some friends and have a pretty sweet time. B tier. Good game. Baba Bowie. Now we move on from B tier to A tier, where the really good games reside. Starting us strongly at A tier, we have SCP Pandemic. Truly, the pinnacle of what your SCP game should be like. 
You are an agent of the Anti-Foundation Alliance to nuke the facility of Area 12 to prevent it from attacking the United States. Cool premise and very neat in gameplay. You kill zombies, shoot other human AI, escape from SCP-173, although pretty difficult to do. How did he kill me? Where is he? The guns. Oh boy, the guns. Almost all of the firearms you come across can be upgraded depending on your taste. Wanna put a laser sight on your gun? Go for it, champ. Maybe a suppressor. Maybe a grip. This game has almost all of it. The gunplay is sick, but because of all the enemies are, you know, AI, you can find some pretty strange moments. The game's scope is pretty inspiring, and the development team is still working on it, and I have really high hopes for the game in the coming future. What a terrific SCP game. A tier. Next, we have SCP Fragmented Minds. Yes, I know, this game is in the demo stage, but this demo is better than most of the games below B tier and offers a truly unique experience. You wake up from cryostasis as the last remaining person on Site 113, which takes place on freaking Mars, which is so goddamn cool. You can fight your way through the SCPs or stealth your way through, it's really up to you. There is an inventory system like in Resident Evil 2 and 3, which I actually really like alongside a crafting system where you can create flares and batteries. If you explore around the levels, you are more than usually rewarded with crafting materials in order to keep your battery percentage high on your flashlight. The combat system in this game is pretty epic too, with you being able to have melee weapons or firearms, which I personally prefer the melee weapons, as you can find this big boy weapon here, which does a stupid amount of damage and looks insanely cool. The 939 portion of the game is also insanely creative too with you having to stealth around 939s in order to weld pipes to enable air filtration so you don't die. There is a lot of lore to this game, and to be completely honest, it is kind of interesting, but I'm not one of those lore crazies, so, you know, don't care. When I recorded and played this game, I had an absolute blast. And reminder, this is just the demo. I cannot wait to see what the developers have in store for us in the future. A tier. Truly deserving of the A tier status. Next up, we have SCP Nucalypse, or SCP Ground Zero? All right. Before I made this script, I recorded an entirely different version of the game where honestly, it would have gone due to your status, but the developers completely reworked the entire game and gave it a new name, SCP Ground Zero. You take the role of a spy ordered to retrieve some kind of artifact from the underground secret facility. You fight these weird green tree poison ivy looking people, Honestly, like, I have no idea what they're supposed to be, but you're tasked to shoot them. The game is honestly pretty mediocre, but there is one thing saving it from falling into B tier or C tier, and that is the developers adding this flamethrower. Suck my balls! Ah! Literally, developers, if you're listening, if you want to make your game 300 times more fun than it is, just add a flamethrower. Trust me, everyone loves using these in games, and they're extremely satisfying to use. The puzzles in this game require some brain activation to complete, and the enemies can genuinely be sometimes challenging, and the lore within the game is contained in these audio logs, which is, you know, okay to listen to. Let me show you some before and after footage I have of this game. I want you to see for yourself how better this game became after the rework it had. A tier. Incredible comeback, truly inspiring. SCP Lab Rat. Oh my god, this game was fucking hilarious. SCP Lab Rat is literally just container beach button VR, which by default is already pretty cool. However, the developers added a co-op system into the game, which, let me remind you, the SCP community is absolutely hilarious. Most of the time anyway. <laughs> Me and my friend loaded in and this fucking alpha male Chad had hacks on and decided to play this hilarious music resulting in the most hilarious clip I believe I have on my channel. Sure, the game is buggy as all hell, but the fact that the co-op mode even works with you being able to play with your friends in VR is absolutely incredible. A tier. We've done it lads. S tier. The most legendary. The best. The true pinnacle of what SCP games should aspire to be. 
First on our list, and you all saw these coming, SCP Container Breach. You take the role of D9341, a D-Class personnel who ends up in a terrifying container breach. Who would have thought of that one? You must wander around procedurally generated maps in Light Containment Zone to find keycards, SP items to help you, and then eventually make it into heavy containment at an entrance and surface. Depending on what you do, this game has four endings. One, where you go to Gate B and the MTF nuke to place. Two, where you go to the nuke room, slam that shit off, and get shot at Gate B anyways. Three, contain SCP-106, go to Gate A and get captured by Ninetailed. Four, don't contain 106, go to Gate A and get captured by Chaos Insurgency. No matter how many times I play it and you play it, you will always be given a unique experience every time you play. Sure, my strategy stayed the same, but the procedural generation gives the playthroughs a different take each time, and every single time I play, I'm always shit scared from SCP-173 and the ambience. S tier, an absolute classic. SCP Unity. This is another game where every other SCP game should look above to it and wish to be exactly like it. You are a D-Class who wakes up in a container breach. Not really creative, I know, but the overall atmosphere, modeling, SCPs added, and gameplay is what makes this game better than most. SCP-106 has this intense ass chase every time he appears to chase you, with this crazy ass soundtrack music to back him up. SCP-173 is scary too, because the second you see him, it makes this loud screeching jump scare noise. I was going the right way, it just- There's also 939, 650, and all these other SCPs to make the world better. Every time I play Unity, I get these vibes where I feel like I'm in Black Mesa. Probably due to the graphics, probably due to the ambience, but I have no idea what makes me feel that way, but I just do. Even though this game will never be finished due to being cancelled, I believe it is fascinating and seriously blows my mind on how cool this game is. S tier. Round of applause, everyone. <coughs> well, we finally done it. We have listed every single SCP game I could get my slimy hands on. I'd like to thank you all personally for being so incredibly patient with my atrocious upload schedule. This video has been in the works since around April 2022, and I've written this script about five times. I appreciate you watching this entire video, and I will try to be more active in the future. Join my Discord if you feel like joining it, but really, I'm more demanding you to join it than asking you to join it. So join it. Thanks for watching.